Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man and it's time to make some soap. Today I'm going to be doing a pretty simple soap actually. Um, we'll be doing something different on the top and we'll talk about that in just a minute. So for the main body of the soap, I'm going to be doing a real simple basic landscape scene. I'll be using the slab mold and on the bottom I'm going to pour what will represent the grass and I'm using Nurture Soap's Green Vibrance for a nice bright springy green. And then I'm going to have just the sky basically coming down and all I'm going to do, real simple, is a, in the pot swirl using Nurture Soap's Brilliant Blue. I am going to lighten that up with some titanium dioxide because I don't want uh, a you know dark sky. So that will be lightened up and then I'll have you know white titanium dioxide mixed in with that. So green grass on the bottom, uh, blue and white sky in the pot swirl. Real super simple. Then when I get to the top I'm going to do some piping. But it's going to be a little different. I'll talk about that when I get to it. I'm expanding out just a little bit, but I need some work. So let me shut us down for a minute, and I'll come back, and we'll get started on this. Also, I'm fragrancing this with Nurture Soap's uh, Eighth and Ocean Fragrance Oil. Used this for years. It behaves beautifully, holds its scent, and it has a nice, bright, fresh. I just, I love it. To me, it's just a nice all-purpose, but I think it goes really well with the theme of this soap, with the, you know, the green grass and the blue sky. So anyway, give me a minute to get set up, and I'll be back, and we'll get started. And then we'll talk about the top. All right, let's get our bottom layer mixed up. So this is the Green Vibrance. If you have used Green Vibrance, or you've seen it used, you know it's a morphing color. It morphs to a not so attractive brownish green, but it always turns back really nice and bright. So I never panic because it always turns back. So let's just hand stir this in. Looks nice at first, but it'll quickly turn brownish green. Since I know this fragrance behaves really well, I'm going to go ahead and put it in and then blend this to final emulsion, ready to pour. And I want to give it a fairly good blend so it'll set up quickly and I can get started on the next layers. It's already starting to darken. into the mold. That's set up a little faster than I thought it would. But it's okay if it's not perfectly flat, because it's going to be grass, and grass is not perfectly flat. So that does have to set up a while, so I'm not going to mix up the others. I'll be back in just a minute. All right, that's set up pretty fast. So now let's work on our sky, which is going to be actually the rest of the soap. So because I know uh, I have time, I am going to just stick blend the titanium dioxide directly in. I usually have pretty good luck with that. And we are going to put our brilliant blue in here. But once again, I'm also going to lighten this up with some TD. So. Oh, and I'm almost at a brilliant blue. So let me stir that and see what that looks like. I believe that's enough for this amount of batter. Yep, I believe it is because when it actually gels, it will darken. There we go. 
when this goes to gel it will darken so yeah I'm happy with that I will stick blend these. I'll put just a little bit of TD into that to brighten it up. And I'll stick blend it directly in. Alright, so let's start with the white. Do the lightest first. for our frosting. nice consistency for an ink pot swirl. Let me just kind of scrape the sides down, make sure I got all those colorants mixed in. Yeah, very nice, very nice consistency. into our mold and the green has set up nice and firm see how unattractive that is right now but tomorrow it'll be back to normal I am going to start expanding out just a little bit and start working on piping flowers. And it is definitely an art that you have to learn. It's kind of like if you know how to drive a car with a clutch, you know the procedure, but you know it's an art that you have to master before you dare take that car on the road. So this is the same with piping flowers. I piped some last night, some sunflowers. And they're rough. Be aware, they are rough. I know it. But I'm going to use them anyway. Like this was the first one I did and the batter was too thin. Over to this point, I was kind of starting to get the hang of it. It's still pretty rough. Like here's toward the end. So here's one that was the later ones I did. So what I'm going to do is start practicing with some actual frosting. That way I don't have to worry about it setting up and then have excess soap. So I will be able to practice with regular frosting and then just put it back in the can and try it again later. So I'm just going to dot these on here randomly. That's a really rough one. 
I learned that the frosting has to be a little thicker than when I make the dollops. And I learned that I have to go a little slower. I know the actual procedure using the leaf tip, but I need to learn like the art. So anyway, then what I'm going to do is mix up the rest of the soap frosting and use hydrated chrome, or excuse me, chrome green oxide from Brambleberry and then just dollop some dots around all this to fill this in. So I've got to let the top set up first to be able to support that and then mix the frosting. So I will be back for the final phase. Okay, we're back to cut our soap and everything went as expected. I'm really pleased so far. I went ahead and split the log, but I haven't peeked yet. If you saw the video, you saw I made a first attempt at some sunflowers and they were quite rough looking. As I expected, I knew they would be. So I just put them on anyway and put some dollops around them, which kind of hides it. So let's take a look at the inside. The pores seem to go very well. Yep, we're going to have some nice wispy clouds in there. If you ever doubt green vibrance, there you go. Remember that ugly color it turns to, but it always turns back to a really nice green. And then once those ugly sunflowers are cut up, they won't be so obvious. And I have some regular cake frosting I'm going to practice with. That way I can use it and scrape it off and put it back. And I actually found an, an expired can of frosting that needed to go anyway because we don't need it anymore. So it needed to go in the trash anyway. So that will be just fine to practice with. So hopefully I have that to look forward to in the future for some videos. But for now, let's cut this and see what we have. And the eighth and ocean frosting, frosting, the eighth and ocean fragrance smells out of this world. I love it. Yep, nice green grass, nice blue sky with wispy clouds. I 
imagine these will look pretty similar, but I will get one more just like I usually do, and I'll get a few from the other log. Yep. And let's try the other log and see, because sometimes even with an in the pot swirl, the other log looks a little bit different. So let's take a peek and see. Yeah, pretty much the same. Wide open green field. And I'll finish cutting these off camera and get some pictures like always. So once again, I want to thank everybody for watching. And I hope you all have a blessed week. I pray that you stay safe. And I'll see you next week for some more soap. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.